Hi, my name is Connie Rawson, and I'm going to read this book. It's called Lewis Hamilton, and it's a very nice book. And it's written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. And so I will start at the first page about a little boy who lived in England. Once in the south of England lived a boy called Lewis. His parents split up when he was two, and he lived with his mother and two sisters. But he spent many weekends with his dad watching Formula One racing on television. For Lewis's fifth birthday, his father gave him a remote control car. Being the only black child and the youngest racer wasn't easy because some drivers picked on him. Yet Lewis always followed his dad's advice. Let your results speak for you. Soon, Lewis was beating any grown-up on the track. When he earned his first two trophies, he and his dad celebrated by eating noodle soup and bacon sandwiches on the back of their car. Never before had he felt so proud of himself. The following Christmas, Lewis got the most amazing present, a go-kart. It was pretty old, but his father fixed it for him and made him a promise. As long as Lewis worked hard at school, he would support his son's racing. His dad took on extra jobs to keep his promise, and Lewis never missed a day at school either. Still, racing was so expensive that sometimes he couldn't make it to the next competition. All of the family's money went into buying tires and fuel, and they didn't have a penny to spend on anything special. But all of that sacrifice paid off. When Lewis was 10, he became the youngest driver to win the British Kart championship. That year, he was invited to a big racing event. There, he introduced himself to Ron Dennis, who was the boss of McLaren, Lewis's favorite car racing team. Lewis asked him for a place on his team and an autograph that he kept forever. Phone me in nine years, Ron. Luckily, Lewis didn't have to wait that long. Three years later, he earned his place as the youngest driver ever to join McLaren's Young Driver Support Program. Soon, he was showing his amazing talent in fast racing competitions. For his debut as a Formula One driver, Lewis wore a bright yellow helmet to honor his hero, Arnton Senna. When he turned on the engine and the wheels began to spin, Everyone at the team knew a future champion was on the track. During his rookie season, Lewis ended up second in the World Drivers' Championship. And the following year, he didn't just become the first black driver to top the Formula One rankings, but its youngest champion ever. Winning race after race and title after title, Lewis broke the record for most Formula One triumphs. And after his seventh World Drivers' Championship, he was knighted. Yet Sir Lewis had never forgotten who he is and where he came from. Lewis travels the world to encourage children to dream of a better future. He works to break down barriers in motorsports so that other Black children will one day become engineers, car mechanics, or drivers. And every time he puts his helmet on, little Lewis shows that it is a sport that should be open to everyone. Because we've all got what it takes to win, we just need to show the world what we can do.